Hey guys, it's Claude here, and this time I'm going to do something a little different. Sorry about all the sorry about not having a video out in a long, long time, but um, what can I tell you? I got caught up in co I got busy during college. Uh, I've had a couple of other things. I got uh, personal things. Uh, for instance, I got a girlfriend, so I'm not having a lot of time to do a lot of Smite games. However, I wanted to do this because I kind of got gotten a little tired of this, and actually, I kind of wanted to show to kind of tell people about the lore, about the different gods, and hopefully, there's enough people interested. In okay, so the lore of Anubis in Smite is actually incorrect. Anubis is not god of the dead. Actually, that title belongs to Osiris, the f the uh, um, husband of Isis. Osiris was actually killed by his brother Set, and and Isis and Anubis came together to br to uh, bring him back uh, apart, br bring him back into a hole. You see, gods can't die, but they can be dismembered. So Set didn't kill him; he cut him into many pieces and scattered him across um, the sands. However, Anubis. And Osiris, Osir uh, Anubis, Isis, and Horus were able to collect his body parts, and so Anubis bound his bodies back with the rat, with uh, the rat, with his wraps, and gave his body and preserved his body with salt. Isis then, in turn, went ahead and gave life back into him. Then Horus and Osiris went together to kill, well, to not kill, but to punish Set for killing him. And so that's why Anubis is not god of the dead. And I just say, I don't mean to be a jerk to, to Hyres or anything. The lores of mythologies can be very confusing and are interpreted by many different people and are still being interpreted. Many people forget that even though these, these are in mythologies, people still believe in these gods. They still believe that this that they actually have power and they are still in existence. I am one of them. I currently believe in the Greek pantheon. So that's and so kind of I really wanted to set people straight just because I have a OCD about correct information. And that's kind of why I wanted to start these videos. I'm not sure if I'll be able to start any um, real Norse mythology and I'm not going to be able to go in depth with Egyptian mythology just because I really haven't studied it, but I've studied Greek mythology for around ten years of ten or nine years of my life. I've studied Greek mythology, and so I might actually go ahead and start doing some other mythological videos on other gods. And I know this is really short, but maybe I'll maybe I'll go back to Anubis and talk more about him. However, I just wanted to set straight that Anubis is not the god of the dead, but the god of mummification. He is the god that, ins that, ha that created the idea of preserving one's body to be resurrected or to pass through the underworld. And that's, and that's actually why I actually would like to talk about his weapon, his ab ability uh, stats, which is actually really, which is actually really cool because it even has mummify. Which, again, <laughs> you know, should really be his title, God of Mummification. But anyways, I'm just repeating myself here. Thanks for tuning in, and I might have more of these videos depending on if you guys like them or not. Alright, see you later. Bye.